I go. Yes, it's D-Day. I run to death. So I've been out looking at cars and SUVs and this kind of thing. So I could hit the road and get the hell out of Alabama. You know what I mean? So, not having no luck yet. Maybe I'm being too picky and shit. I don't know. It's hot as shit outside. I'm packing for my camping trip tomorrow. So, yeah, I gotta be sure I don't forget the meds. Gotta have water. Gotta have a way to poop and shit. I gotta have tents and covers and food and ice and all this shit. And I'm going by myself. Not to mention, I asked my ex to go with me a hundred times, but no, he's a city boy. He gotta have his Andy Griffith show, his, 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 his cable, his TV, his air conditioner, all this shit like y'all city people do. You don't know what nature is. You can't spell the word. You don't know how to act in nature. I'm just saying. Anyway, this other girl knows how to do it. She knows how to have some fun. Even if it is alone, I'm just saying. So I met a guy. Yeah. Um, singles, 50 and up. So he lives about 30 minutes away. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. All of a sudden, he wants to meet. And I said, okay. But he wants me to do the driving. I said, what part of that do you not understand? I don't have a car. I had to borrow one. If you want to see me, I'm 30 minutes away. If a man wants to see a woman, he'll find a way to get to her. You know what I mean? So then he started talking about, well, I own this and this and this and this. I said, I didn't ask you what you own. I don't give a shit what you own. I don't care. I frankly do not care what you have. I don't. Well, at times it's rough and uh, it's just hard for me to drive that far. 30 minutes to drive. Okay. I said, by the way, big boy, you're talking about hard times. Well, I live in a camper. I'm getting thrown off the property, so i got to find me a car to live in. I said, I'm disabled. i got kidney failure. Do you hear me complaining? Let's not talk about hard times here, people. You've got a place to live, right? Got a nice truck to drive. Got a good job. You can better yourself. You know. But you want some woman to borrow a car from somebody. Come see your ass. You know. I don't think so. If a man gonna see me, he's gonna drive his ass where I'm at. I'm just saying. Oh, you want CD Day? I'm just saying. You know what I mean? I said, by the way, why aren't you divorced? I said, I know it ain't none of my business, but I screen the people that I'm with. And if you don't want to answer the question, that's okay. We'll just end the conversation. I said, did your ass cheat or something? Or am I, what, what, what happened? Oh, we just grew apart. Yeah, I bet you grew apart. Mm-hmm. We know. We know. We know. Don't lie on asses. We know. He said, well, how about you? Why are you single? I said, not by choice. My husband died. I said, anything else you want to know? I said, what did you learn in your 13 years of marriage you have your wife? Oh, that we just grew apart. I said, boy, you well, you learned a lot. I'm telling you. He said, well, what did you learn? I said, what did I learn? Well, I was married 30-something years. I know communication, respect, loyalty, and I know how to treat a man. I said, it don't sound like you have your life together. I said, I'll pass. I'm all good. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm not going to end up with another problem. You know what I mean? Don't come hollering at me telling me what your ass owns because I don't care. I don't care what you own, what you drive, where you live. I do not care. I don't care. What's that got to do with a relationship? Like, really? Okay. Better off to stay single, women. I'm just saying. I'm, 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 I'm tired of messing with men. They're liars. They're cheaters. They don't know respect. They, they don't know shit. They don't know shit. Well, 
Maybe a few that does, but not very many. I just say them. So I'm in the midst of packing stuff for my camping trip tomorrow. Everybody wants to know where I'm going. And my family and shit ain't none of your business. I'm just telling you. Mama, Mama's over 18 three four times. It's none of your business where I'm going. So this is what I got on because I'm packing shit in the car. Like I said, I'm not going to get dressed up. Just to sweat under the boobs and under the arms and get butt boogers and everything else. You know what I mean? So this is what I have. Some pajama pants and a tanker topper. This is it. This is what I got on. Because I'm packing shit up. Uh. This is it. This is what I got on. I still got a baby. I still got it. Anyway, that's what I got on. And that's what I've been doing. Packing. Hell, if I open up the car door out there, things going to come tumbling out. I'm trying to figure out what I need for a week for food, but I won't be cooking. I won't be buying anything either because there's no money. So I'm gonna be living off crackers, potty meat, and tuna. Loaf bread. I just right. I assume not to eat it all. You know what I mean? Cause you know tuna, potty meat for a week. But hey, it be sitting nice around here, being ignored. You know what I mean? So I was gonna take my dog camping. Mr. Ted used to be my dog. Something come up and I had to sell him to Mikey. Mikey won't let him take, won't let me take him camping with me, or his dog either one. I said, why not? I said, they're dogs. Everybody takes them camping. You know what I mean? But then all of a sudden, his daughter's gonna come over here and get his dog and let him spend the night all night. I said, okay, but you won't let me take him camping with me. But you let your dog. Okay, let's we'll see where this shit's going. If you shove your dogs up your ass, you know what I mean? I took care of your damn dogs for five years. Five years. And I know his family's watching this video. Up yours. Up yours. I'm just saying. So. Anyway. That's what Day Day's doing. I'm going to have the time of my life camping. Yes, I am. Reading books, doing diamond art, listening to music at night time, listening to the crickets and shit, you know. That's what I'm going to do. I'm so excited. Educational purposes, people. I got a, well, I don't need I got a real bra on. I was going to say it's a sports bra, but no, it's not doing its job. Know what I mean? That's what it looks like when I'm running. I'm just saying. I just get you a good bra because this one's wore out and don't hold nothing in place. It just, it just, it don't, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Either way. Y'all hit that subscribe button and share my video. Me thumbs up. I don't know if I'll get some phone service where I'm going tomorrow, so I may not be able to post for a week because it's way out in the boonies. Yeah, there'll be thousands and thousands and thousands of motorcycles down there, but you can't get no cell phone service. You know what I'm talking about? So if I film anything or take pics of anything, I can't post them for y'all till I get back from there. But we'll see. We'll see. They'll put a new tower down there. We'll see. Anyway... Y'all have a wonderful Monday, I'm just saying.